Hi, I'm Adam. I am gay and I am Mormon and I'm a student at BYU studying music and theater. Um, and I have a message for you today. I want you to know that as a gay Mormon, it does get better. Um, when I was a little kid, I was that kid that would make you smile because he was so darn gay. <laughs> um, in nursery, I was obsessed with playing with My Little Pony. Um, I would be shamelessly flirting with boys. Um, I remember in elementary school uh, telling my uncle that I was a tom girl and that I was, I was just obsessed with all these things that boys shouldn't be obsessed with. Um, I learned very quickly in elementary school through some really harsh remarks and bullying that um, what I was doing was not typical of my gender um, and that I needed to conform and I just I, I kind of put that all away. Um, looking back on middle school and high school, I uh, looking back on middle school and high school, I could see that I I tried very hard to distract myself from all the feelings I was having. Uh, looking back, I had several crushes on some really cute boys, and but instead of worrying about that, I just delved into church. I delved into high school. I tried to do as much band, choir, drama, um, bishop's first assistant, um, service projects, mutual, seminary. I tried to get into all these things so I wouldn't have to think about my sexuality. Um, and I got this golden boy image in high school, uh, especially in my ward and in my family and with my friends. And that was something I held on to big time because I was scared. I, I wasn't feeling the same way about girls that everybody else was. Um, my guy friends would talk to me about liking this girl or going out with this person and I would just feel empty inside and I was so scared because I thought I was broken. I was like, well maybe next year, uh, maybe next year I'll feel something and it just never came. Um, things finally got to a head when I came to college. I got super depressed. I um, was just really, really confused, and I was taking it out, taking it out on myself in a variety of ways. Um, and you know, it it took me a while. I, it took me some backtracking, thinking about high school and everything. And then I realized, wait, I might be gay. And I, <laughs> I remember going up to a mirror in um, my bathroom and looking myself right in the eye and saying, Adam, I. Uh, I think you're gay, and uh, and it and it just everything clicked, everything made sense, and uh, being very spiritual, I prayed to my heavenly Father about it. You know, I I told him, guess what? I um, I found out this thing about myself. I found out that I was gay. Um, is that okay? It was amazing the kind of peace I felt after I prayed, because there are very few times where I felt so distinctly that someone somewhere loved me for who I was and it didn't matter that I liked boys instead of liking girls and I found and, and that's when things started really clicking for me there's an active gay Mormon blogging community that if you know if you're in the closet if you don't want to tell this to anyone you can find people online who are regularly blogging about being gay and being Mormon and I suggest looking those up because they were a big help to me. Um, I also found this group on BYU campus called Understanding Same Gender Attraction, USGA, and it's been my home away from home. They've been my family and it, things have just gotten so much better. I feel so much more pe at peace with myself. I feel like I have more purpose. Being gay now is no longer a problem to me. It's no longer a struggle. It's no longer a trial because I have family here who will take care of me, who support me, who love me. And I want you to know that even though you might be in a really, really dark place now, you might not know how to reconcile your Mormonism and your sexuality. But I want to tell you that there is a space for you. That there are people every day actively trying to make a space where people like you and me can exist and honor our sexuality and honor our faith. It's an exciting time to be a gay Mormon.
If you're thinking about doing anything to harm yourself, if you're depressed, if you're just in that dark place, there are people rooting for you. There are people who love you. We might not know you personally, but we are cheering for you the whole entire way. And we hope that you'll really take this message to heart. And I want you to know that it really does get better.